Since the mainstream media won't do it, in the name of full disclosure, Leslie Dutton interviewed the candidates running against incumbent L.A. District Attorney Steve Cooley. He won't come on this show, I can tell you right now. I predict Steve Cooley, who said that the DA's office, when he first ran, he promised me and every DA in our office, we'd have a transparent office, he'd be accessible. He hasn't met with the DA Association for four years. Um, I'm running for a couple of reasons. I, I think that the present uh, incumbent, Steve Cooley, has over-politicized the district attorney's office. And corruption at all levels should be vigorously prosecuted. And that's, the com and that's my complaint. Uh, and that's not just my complaint, but the complaint of many, many people throughout the community with the present incumbent, uh, Steve Cooley, that he does not prosecute all corruption. He's very selective. The corruption that exists in, in the county that I'm aware of, that I can state here today, is within the district attorney's office. And that corruption isn't necessarily in taking money. But this DA doesn't deserve to be paid when he's not doing his job. And he promised to tackle po uh, political corruption. He promised to even-handedly uh, administer justice. And uh, he promised not to be um, controlled by any of the special interests. When you're charged with investigating crime and you don't investigate the rich and powerful, and it's tough because it puts you on the front page of the newspaper when you investigate certain crimes and certain people because they don't want to be investigated. You make enemies. You lose campaign contributors. You might not get reelected. The other criticism I have about Steve Cooley is that he has refused to prosecute the child abusers and pedophiles that work and still work within the Catholic Church. Um, and that should shock the conscience of all individuals here in L.A. County. The failure to prosecute child molesters and let, let the priests get, go free because you don't want to take on the church. You have the failure to, envir to investigate environmental crimes because you don't want to anger or you want to befriend criminal defense lawyers and get their money. Uh, you know, you make friends. You can make great friends when you don't prosecute criminals. Okay, and their, their lawyers will reward you handsomely if they have that ability to. specifically dealing with the city of uh, Cudahy, where it was again reported in the LA Weekly that uh, some of the city administrators and uh, maybe even some of the council members were fronts or involved with the drug cartel. And the district attorney started to investigate, but these same individuals then hired a criminal defense attorney who was very close friends with Steve Cooley, who had helped raise significant amounts of money for his campaign, both in 2000 and 2004, and that investigation went nowhere. It just disappeared. So when Mr. Cooley threw his birthday party, this is an elected district attorney. At his birthday party a year ago, uh, prosecutors in the office didn't even get invitations. His own employees, we didn't get invitations. Who showed up? Well, I spoke with someone who was there. I said hundreds of criminal defense lawyers showed up, and they each gave him $1,000. Uh, to his campaign and their secretary showed up and gave a thousand dollars to his campaign. That's who shows up to this district attorney's birthday party. You know? These candidates were incensed by the recent pay raise given to Mr. Cooley. How is this rationalized that Steve Cooley would get such a huge raise? It, it's, embar it's embarrassing as a prosecutor uh, in my office to see that the DA with everything we're facing now, with the crime rate, with the gang problem, he wasn't given a raise, he went and asked for a raise because he wasn't the highest paid prosecutor in the state. He was already making over $200,000 a year and he wanted to be making closer to $300,000 a year. He wanted to make more than U.S. Supreme Court justices. The reason that this raise was given without any public debate was because Steve Cooley refuses to prosecute alleged improprieties um, entered into by the Board of Supervisors. And it was also speculated that uh, the shenanigans that the Board of Supervisors engaged in, whether it was violation of the Brown Act or open meeting laws mm -hmm. or other problems, that he refused, his refusal to investigate those was rewarded with this $100,000 raise. Both candidates criticized Mr. Cooley's ethics because of where he solicits and accepts campaign contributions. Well, today, Steve Cooley takes un 
untold amounts of money from the um, criminal defense sector. In other words, he takes, he raises and finances his campaign on soliciting campaign contributions from criminal defense attorneys, the very same attorneys that then represent the individuals who are then going to be prosecuted by his department. And what do you think happens when that criminal defense lawyer who just gave you $1,000 says, hey, Steve, can I buy you a drink? Let's get together. I have a case I want to talk to you about. And I've had DAs come up to me and tell me that criminal defense lawyers have told them, if you don't lower this offer, I'm going to go to Cooley. And uh, that's just, that's wrong. Prosecutors need to know that the DA will back them up not that a DA will undercut them because his friend, a criminal defense lawyer, wants a lower offer. It's just human nature that if someone does, does you a favor and helps you out, I think Cooley, being a human being, he's going to feel a certain obligation to return that favor in kind. And it's that process that is, is, is corrupting. And Both candidates claim that Mr. Cooley is afraid to debate his policies in public. In 2000, when he was running against Steve uh, uh, Gil Garcetti, there were 15 debates, over 15 debates scheduled. Today, Steve Cooley refuses to have any debates with any of his challenges. In fact, Mr. Cooley's office declined our request for an interview. In the name of full disclosure, we even sent Mr. Cooley a list of questions to allow him to send us a videotaped response. To date, we received nothing. A lot of people fear Steve Cooley. They describe him as a very vindictive um, person who, if they support me, they fear the retaliation that they may suffer and the wrath of Steve Cooley. There are people dead today because of Steve Cooley, because of his policies. You can watch this program in its entirety as a Full Disclosure subscriber, or you can purchase the DVD on our website. Full Disclosure will continue to bring you the news you won't get from the mainstream media. Full Disclosure, the news behind the news.